Hi you guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for being here. I am quickly going to speak a little bit about gut dysfunction. So I have been sharing its tidbits in the past for the last uh, seven or 10 days. And I just quickly wish to make a video on it, not very scientific or biology or physiology based, but just to give you a basis so as to you know okay how do i know that i have a gut dysfunction so before you can actually do something about the problems that you have it's very important for us to understand that we do have a problem to begin with so you know i've been traveling for the last couple of days and uh, i have got like a mild sore throat i have some mucus coming out all the time it's not coming because i've been sipping on this tea since morning so this is uh, i will quickly tell you what this is so that you can make it i took some water I put in star anise, I put in uh, kali mirch, uh, no turmeric for me, I am super duper intolerant to turmeric so I have eaten turmeric in the past few days. I don't know if you can see it, I think you can. You can see like those tiny bumps on my forehead and I know it is because of the wrong food that I ate. So I will quickly connect the dots for this okay. So this is star anise, kali mirch, uh, cloves or in Hindi we call it as long. You can put in some cardamom powder, lots of garlic and ginger now garlic and ginger are very heating i have a video on why it is so helpful and beneficial but i put it and i know it could make me break out more but i really need to make sure that the mucus that my body is trying to eject out comes out completely so even now that you hear my voice you will not hear that my nose is very stuffy or my throat is very itchy so this is exactly what i have been doing so this is my fourth cup since last night and I already feel really really great so I had like a mild headache and my nose was just dripping and dripping but it's so much better and uh, even though I was you know sleeping in a very well ventilated room I've been eating cold ice creams and cold chocolates but I still have been taking care with this tea and I just brewed all of it really really well and before I poured it in this uh, mug I put in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar one tablespoon of lemon juice and half teaspoon of raw organic honey unprocessed unfiltered so uh, I use the brand Indie Genius when it comes to honey Satvik also does good honey so that's what I'm having this is the tea and of course putting in a lot of water memory so this tea is healing it's taking care of my body my body knows what to do with it my body takes care of me so that kind of stuff mm. It tastes so good. ASMR. Ah, it's amazing. You can taste that pungent uh, smell of garlic. You can just taste it. And it is the sulfur in these compounds that's miraculous for the body. So if you are someone who is trying to recover from something that is happening, I really think this tea would help you. So get, go ahead and have it. Now speaking about gut dysfunction, so I just mentioned that I have a few mild acne, that is why I'm not wearing makeup and I won't be for a few days until my skin feels refreshed and nice. So I know that if I am, so when I was in Ahmedabad, I was not getting acne. Now I'm traveling, I'm going out, I'm eating out. It could be food, it could be water, it could be a little disruption in the sleeping patterns. Anything can, anything and everything impacts your skin, impacts your health, impacts your gut. So just saying, oh, okay, I've got this acne so I should go and visit a doctor and I should just take a medicine and make sure that this goes away. I know the problem is in my gut. I know the problem is coming from the food that I'm eating. So if the problem is coming from the food that I'm eating, how is a medicine going to fix this for me? That's my approach. Okay, so I can go visit a doctor. I can apply something and I can take two medications and I will be fine. I don't need to sit here and eliminate food and heal my gut to make sure that my skin is good. But I don't want to take those side effects of the medications. I don't want to be dependent on something external when my body takes care of me from within if I create the right environment. So me getting acne is me knowing that my gut is intolerant to this thing, this thing, this thing. And if I eat it, it makes me break out. It could be the healthiest food in the world, okay? Turmeric is one of the most potent ingredients that you can put into your plan and that will elevate your health from inside. But it just doesn't work with me. So I can't have turmeric with meals. I can't do turmeric lattes a lot. I can do it, but it will break me out. So I need to decide. Do I want the acne or do I want to get the benefits of turmeric and because I can get the same benefits from a lot of other foods and I love my skin I really just I, it's just a decision that I will eliminate turmeric So this is exactly what is the case with dairy and gluten So I left dairy and gluten for a period of time and then I introduced
reduced one at a time. When I did gluten, it made me break out again. My periods were painful and I feel, used to feel bloated. I used to feel constipated. My stool used to be so hard. And I know that it is just the addition of gluten that did not work with my gut. So I can go to a doctor and that doctor will start to treat me for the fires or constipation. But that's not what the problem is. I know my problem came from eating gluten. So if I just eliminate gluten, can I make it better? But what we do is we push it. We never think that it can be the healthiest food in the world that could possibly be causing a traumatizing situation for my body and it doesn't work. So, you know, there are so many health foods and I don't want to sit here and talk about me and just, you know, put this fear inside you that if the, this doesn't work with Ankita, this is probably not going to work with me. So I'm not going to talk about me, but I am going to lead you with an example that I am as human as you are and I face these issues and this is how I tackle it in a very holistic, natural way in tune with my body and I let my body communicate with it. So maybe you can pick something from this and do it for yourself. So is me getting acne a sign of gut dysfunction? I wouldn't say exactly, but yes. It, it could lead to something major if you don't discontinue the insult that you are putting inside your body. So eating a certain way when you know that this, if I eat this, it makes me constipated. We have patients who will feel constipated with matcha. Now matcha is great, but we have people who are just constipated with it. We can't do it. When I do lots of caffeine, I cannot see. Even if I do minimum caffeine, I can't sleep. I think caffeine is great. I think when you take it correctly, I think when you take it at the correct time, I think caffeine works for the body, but it's so bio-individual. There are so many people I sit in the cafes and I'm looking at them, they're ordering a coffee and espresso shot and they'll just drink it and I hope they are going back home and sleeping. And uh, for a lot of people who don't know that caffeine doesn't work and it can interfere with your adenosine, adenosine receptors that can put you to sleep, these people would be awake all night and they would never know that it is coming from my coffee. It is coming from the depletion of vitamin D. It is coming from the overdosing with a vitamin B supplement or a B100 complex. Just because you saw someone telling you that B vitamins are great, you start taking your B1, B2, B3, B5, B10 and now you are suddenly not able to sleep or you are very agitated. So you just need to know what is not working for me what is working for me okay ankita said this about turmeric so maybe for me it's not turmeric maybe for me it is cinnamon maybe for me it is methi seeds so we have people who are doing great but you suddenly add methi seeds to the fried rice that they are eating and they would be so acidic like we would not imagine that a methi seed something that is so beautiful and full of health and is nutritious and is coming from nature would be so good but it creates a problem for some person so if a health food creates problem for you it is still a health food just not for you so turmeric is great but not for my body not for my biology not for my physiology so how do i know i have cut this function my periods are screwed up my skin is screwed up my hair keeps on falling i have been on crash diets i can't digest food i am always acidic i am always bloated i always need a painkiller i am so distracted by the chirping of the birds in the background it's so beautiful it's calling me to meditate and i'm so sorry but these are all the symptoms that you can look into when it comes oh okay do i have a, it is so hard for you to lose weight it is so hard for you to put on weight it all comes from the gut and when i, I think when it comes to gaining weight it has a lot to do with the genes but like it can be highly genetic, but for a lot of people, they do a lot of wrong things. They're not digesting food. So you could be taking 100 grams of protein in a day, okay? We have patients who come to us and they've been with some other people and they put them on high protein diet and a lot of eggs and uh, just, you know, um, mass gainers and shakes and it just screws up their gut. So do they have a gut dysfunction? Yes, absolutely they do. Is their skin constantly breaking out with the food that they are eating? Yes, they do. So they have a gut dysfunction and that leaky gut is actually just kind Kind of you know disrupting the skin and skin is the second largest organ in the body so it is going to show some effects so when you when you look at your detoxification organs you look at kidney you look at your lungs you look at the liver but your skin is also a part of it okay so if your body is trying to eject toxins it can come out of your skin so when i have an acne i know that it can come from the fact that my body is just trying to cope up with the kind of um disbalance with the food that i've done and it's going to be fine when i'm seeing a lot of mucus coming out it's not an attack on my body i know my body is doing something it is getting the mucus out it is my dead immune cells that is just coming out because they've been fighting to make sure that i'm safe and protected from the inside so 
having the diagnosis that you have a gut dysfunction which believe me i am seated in front of you and even i think my gut is only 90 to 95 percent strong people who have autoimmune issues people who have eczema psoriasis or uh, light in planets or people who have IBS, Crohn's, colitis, um, it could be diarrhea, excess constipation, excess diarrhea, loose stools, it comes from your gut. People who have recurrent fungal infections, people who have UTIs, chronic UTIs, they have been on a lot of antibacterial, antifungal, children who have been born via C-section, not normal delivery, people who have a lot of sinus issues, people who have constant chronic hair fall, people who are constantly stressed, they just do not know how to be quiet, people who are going through hyperprolactinoma, so uh, you know they are on medications, they are taking capergoline and their hormones can be out of balance and then it puts so much of stress on the body that it can just go haywire and if you're constantly just going by a medical report so if you test for your uh, pH levels of the stomach and it looks great but you eat a food and it bloats you there is a huge possibility that you are intolerant to food or you do not have the sufficient amount of stomach acid to break down the food that you are eating so constantly relying on a medical numbers or a medical reference range I'm not saying it's bad I'm saying yes we have to be in a certain limit there's a reason that they have put it there but why do you wish to be at the lower end of everything why do you not wish to be optimal so when we look at vitamin d you have a gut dysfunction if you are supplementing with vitamin d but your levels don't move so i think i've already shared this in the past i was taking i don't know such high dosages of vitamin d for like years and my levels didn't move from 20 to 30 and now i know that the problem is in the gut the problem is in the absorption the problem is not in the supplementation my body is not able to hold on to it when we look at b vitamins when we look at b12 your body has to be able to produce it for you so when we look at b vitamins no one knows what the correct dosage is no one knows what the correct dosage is your body knows and it makes the sufficient amount minute by minute given what your body needs so i need b1 for my stomach acid that's what i mean i need b1 for energy i need b1 for the conversion of carbs to energy for the metabolization of carbohydrates i need my vitamin b1 and your body can make it for you but how when your gut is not in a dysfunctional state when you do not have a leaky gut so these symptoms which we are just like you know ah oh i'm acidic take an antacid that's so normal oh i'm bloated that's so okay i'll wake up in the morning i'll be fine oh i've not pooped for three days that's completely okay i mean you are I'm, I'm sure there are so many people who have this no this kind of chronic constipation can lead to colon cancers in future it won't happen overnight it will happen in future and this is not to scare you this is to empower you so that you understand that okay this is not right this is right and i need to be more towards the right i need to be more towards optimal so again vitamin d3 range oh 30 it's sufficient now you don't need more just supplement here and then you're going to be fine people supplement it doesn't move and they just assume that because i've supplemented it's going to be okay it's not going to be okay if you are always constantly chronically falling sick the weather changes you are sick you eat something cold you are sick you sleep in a, a room that has like you know very low temperature on ac and you fall sick it's not right your body has to always maintain that homeostasis and if you think your immune system is not related to your gut you are very wrong because that's where your immunity sits it sits inside of your gut at least 75 to 85 percent of it is that it's inside the gut there is some in the brain, blood there is some in the brain there is some in the liver your kefner cells so your immunity is everywhere okay and it has to take care of you but if the body is constantly fighting a gut infection or a fungal infection or a viral infection or you're inflamed or you're constantly taking medications and painkillers your body will eventually be at a state where it is not going to absorb the food that you are eating and that's the biggest problem you want great skin you want great hair you want great nails you have to start with the basics is your body able to break down absorb every minute thing that you eat is your body getting sufficient micronutrients so no one can hit the amount of vitamins and minerals that they need but is your body absorbing the bare minimum that you're putting that's my question and then I trust the body I know that body knows I know that the body can take care but is your body in a position to take care of you you don't need to take care of your body your body takes care of you given that you do the basics right so your sleep your stress your emotions your energy your food the quality of food the quantity of food the state of your mind when you're eating the food your emotional health everything plays a huge role when it comes to gut dysfunction 
so if you have a problem say excess white discharge oh it's normal i have it like you know no one has to smell it i'm just in the privacy of my room or the restroom and it's completely okay or my underarms just uh, smell very bad but it's okay i'm just in the privacy of my room there are some things which are considered normal but just because most of the population is sick or most of the people have type 2 diabetes it does not makes it normal just because we are diabetic capital of the world it doesn't makes it normal and if we keep on accepting it the sickness is going to rise so i want to prevent it before it rises again for some another disease it could be cholesterol it could be autism it could be adhd but what are we doing wrong so you need to get back to the basics is my body absorbing the food that i put in or do i have a gut dysfunction and you don't need to go out and do a test you can run a test but just see how you feel see how you look see how your sleep is see how your emotions are see how your energy is see how agitated so if i go like this does that do something to you if i yell do you feel shocked if you do you know that there can be some problem with your mthfr so if you are not able to stay calm when i do this we know that there can be some issues with the methylation of the body okay so these are just a few signs where you don't even have to go out for a test you can just do it right here right now and you would know so i would really really hope this helps if you want me to um talk more about this i would love to do that for you and uh, a lot of people ask me about the tops and everything that i wear so this is by veromoda the top is zara and what i'm wearing downstairs doesn't matter so yeah that's about it take care have a great day i'll 